Grace and peace be with you. Uh, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potter. I have a brief thought for you today. It's from James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. And James is writing because he knows that life will be difficult. James knows that life will be difficult. And he knows that because the audience that he's writing to is scattered and facing persecution. We see that right away in James 1, verse 1. James encourages us through this letter to be joyful in trials, which is what I talked about yesterday. And then he gives instruction for obtaining wisdom, uh, beginning with verse 5. And here's the thing. We all lack wisdom. Let me repeat that. We all lack wisdom, especially especially when we are facing trials. And we don't always see our need for God's wisdom, which far surpasses our own wisdom. What we need in a trial to be joyful is to have God's wisdom. Well, how do we get it? Well, we need to first see our own need in the trial clearly and see our need for God's wisdom. It starts with a recognition of what we don't have and what we need. Now, just getting through a trial, well, that's not a joy, but growing in wisdom and righteousness, that's a joy. And see, we see our need and, and then we go to God with that need. We, we trust and believe that God is the source of wisdom and that God can grant us wisdom. God can do that for you today. And finally, what we do is we ask God. This verse tells us this is how we get wisdom. We ask God for it. We ask God, believing that God can grow and transform us, whatever our circumstances. Knowing that God is with us and at work in us. May you seek God, ask for God's wisdom in the midst of whatever you are going through, and grow in wisdom and righteousness. God's grace and peace be with you.